And then you can go ahead and purposely miss after you've wrecked a couple of their ships. What's up YouTube, Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys a couple more troll tweaks that you can troll your friends with. Let's go ahead and jump right in the video. Alright, up first, starting with the settings, as you can see, I have a bunch of different settings that have been renamed. This is called Dope Settings. This is the only thing the tweet does is rename all of the different settings panes to something more artistic. If we look down this list real quick, you got Control My Center, Jailbreaker OCD Center, you got the High Five Bra. Bruh. Anyways, guys, this one's called Dope Settings, and it just changes your settings to something a little more spiffy all right this next one i have for you guys is called bird poop when you guys first install it you'll probably get this error so i'm going to show you guys real quick how to install this one properly so real quick this tweak is 199 so if you want to go ahead and install it it's on the twicked repo for 199 but what you're going to want to do to install it is go ahead and tap uninstall if you've already installed it go ahead and remove it and restart your springboard. Okay, once that's done, go back into your package manager, type in the tweak. And what you want to do is go ahead and tap the install. And you're going to want to install the 1.0.6 version. So go ahead and tap and install that one first. Now when you go over into your settings, you should be able to access the settings of the tweak. So now you can go ahead and adjust uh, all of the little hacks. Basically what this tweak does is it lets you cheat on the Game Pigeon iMessage games. You can disable hard mode, you can always show the trajectory, you can basically just wreck everybody on the Game Pigeon games. You can also spoof your win count. Now this does work on the latest Game Pigeon, the 2.2.2 I believe it is. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and after you've installed that 1.0.6 version, just go ahead and upgrade to the latest one. And it should load all of the preferences in settings. All right, now we're back in. Now you can see that it is working perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and test it out on my wife. Go ahead and play a game with her. Let's do Sea Battle. All right, we'll go ahead and send that. All right, so I have my wife's phone right here, so we'll go ahead and accept the game. Go ahead and move the ships around wherever you want. It doesn't matter because I can see them anyway. You can tap start. So now if we look on my phone, I have the hack enabled and I can see every single one of her ships. So I'll just go ahead and start destroying everything. And then you can go ahead and purposely miss after you've wrecked a couple of their ships. Anyways, guys, that one's called a bird poop. Super useful tweak if you want to go ahead and bet lunch or dinner with your friend. Whoever wins the next sea battle has to buy you a nice steak. This is definitely a good troll tweak to have on your device. This next one I have for you guys is kind of funny. This would be fun to install on someone's phone or on your own phone. But basically what it does is anytime that your phone senses that it's falling, it makes a sound. So we'll go ahead and test it real quick. So as you can see, it's got the Wilhelm scream. You can change it to a bunch of different things. I'm falling and I can't get up. So anyways, we changed it. So you can adjust the falling sound and the falling uh, detection. You can increase or decrease the sensitivity. But it's just funny if you go and throw your phone on the bed or go and install it on one of your friend's phones and anytime they drop their phone, it'll make that sound. Anyways, guys, that one's called Free Fall. Nice little troll tweak. And this next one, I'm sure you guys have noticed this little annoying goose that keeps interfering with me when I'm trying to show you guys these troll tweaks. This is just a fun little troll tweak called a mobile goose. You can have them walk around. You can increase the goose mount to who knows how many, what is it, 50? 50 goose, 50 geeses, 50 goose eye. Anyway, we'll go ahead and respring the device, see what 50 geese look like. 
Holy crap, yep, they're just invading my phone. Let's see if I can even make it back to the settings. The challenge is, is you cannot click exactly where they're standing. So I'm gonna have to ooh, kind of avoid them. Let's get back down to Mobile Goose and we will put that back to one if we can get it. Get off that slider, get off that slider. There we go, there we go. Put it back to one and restart the springboard. There is also a little control module that you can download separately. I believe it's called Mobile Goose CC and you can just enable, disable it straight from the control center. But for now, we'll go ahead and disable him real quick because he's kind of annoying. But there's also some mods that you can install from Cydia that are made by other developers. I believe there's like a color changing goose or a goose that wears a hat or a name or something like that. Anyways, guys, this one's Mobile Goose and it has been updated for iOS 14. And this next one I have for you guys is actually really cool. If you guys like Infinity Wars or Marvel Comics, you can just go ahead and do a triple tap on your device and it will go ahead and start destroying all of your icons just like Thanos did with his snap. It also works on widgets too. So at that time it didn't destroy the widget, but it does work on the widgets. Let's see if I can get it to destroy one of the widgets. So we'll go back over here, three finger tap. As you can see, it just destroyed the widget. So this one is pretty cool to show off to your friends or if you take it into an Apple store. Now you'll notice if I scroll back, all my icons reappear except for the dock ones. In order for the dock ones to come back, you kind of need to click on them. And after you tap on them, they will reappear. But this one is called Inevitable. All right, guys, there's five more troll tweaks that have been updated to support iOS 14. I will continue to hunt for these troll tweaks for iOS 14. I know I've reviewed a couple of these tweaks in the past, but I just wanted to let you guys know that they are now working on iOS 14. So if you could, go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.